I can't wait to bite into this lobster and spaghetti squash. This is delicious. Oh, look how pretty. Hi guys, Daniela here and welcome back to my keto cooking channel where I bring you the best keto recipes for you to enjoy on a daily basis. So tonight I'm going to be using some of my weekend leftovers. We had lobster in the weekend so I'm, I saved a lobster tail and I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious spaghetti squash and lobster recipe that is really really easy, convenient and it only takes seven ingredients so there's nothing really to it let's get to it and like always guys please like and subscribe to my channel so that I can continue to bring you these amazing quick and easy keto recipes that are delicious and super satisfying like and subscribe let's get to it for this recipe you're going to need two lobster tails two cups of spaghetti squash half a tablespoon of olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, half a teaspoon of garlic or onion powder, a quarter cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, half a cup of heavy cream, and one tablespoon of butter. Let's get to it, guys. We want to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So we're gonna start with the most time-consuming part of the recipe, which is baking of the spaghetti squash. We wanna cut it in half, season it a little bit, and then pop it in the oven for around 30 to 40 minutes, okay? So let me show you how to cut one open. Now you're gonna clean the inside by taking out all of the seeds with a spoon. There you go. Now we're going to add the half a tablespoon of olive oil. Half a tablespoon. I'm gonna put a half in one in the other. Okay. You're just gonna rub it around, especially in the edges here. You're gonna add a little bit of salt to taste. You just wanna like sprinkle it around. Now we are gonna put these babies in the oven and we're gonna let them bake. So we're just gonna put them face down on a tray and we're just gonna pop them into the oven for 30 minutes and that'll be all. You wanna put it in the middle rack. So meanwhile, we are going to get the lobster meat out. Ooh. And this is completely cooked, but of course we're going to Heat it up, cook it again in the pot. And this is a huge lobster tail. Oh my God. I am like salivating just looking at this. Okay, we're gonna put this aside and we're gonna wait. So even though spaghetti squash is a perfectly good keto food, you need to make sure that you only eat as much as uh, you have measured out. So for this recipe, we're doing two cups, and that is all we are having. So let's see how much this two pounds of spaghetti squash uh, yields, okay? And, ooh, so this, this, as you guys can see, it's very, very tender. I perhaps even I overcooked it because it's really 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 tender and that is perfectly fine but that just means that it won't have the beautiful spaghetti um, shape that we all love. I have to say that I let this spaghetti squash uh, ripen a lot on the side. I like it when it's a little bit ripe and a little bit sweeter than if you just use it right away after buying it. 
Uh, but let's see, let's see uh, how much this yields, okay? So here we have one cup, okay? Just need a little bit more to fill the second cup. All right, so here we have two cups. Okay guys, so that's the two cups of spaghetti squash. And I have to admit guys, I completely overcooked it. It came out way much more mushy than I usually like it, but you know, it's gonna come out to taste just as good. But here we go. The, uh, the heat is at medium right now. We're going to add the half a cup of a heavy cream. We're going to add the half a teaspoon of garlic or onion powder. I'm adding the one tablespoon of butter. I'm adding a pinch of salt and I am adding some pepper. And you can see that the heavy cream is starting to bubble up. We're going to incorporate all of this together and we're going to put the cheese at the end. Oh, the other thing that I was forgetting to mention is that I am not going to be putting in the lobster in the whole sauce with the squash because my husband doesn't love lobster. So he's gonna be having his with some chicken, with some pre-cooked chicken that I'm just gonna put on top of it. So I'm just gonna put my lobster tail on top of the spaghetti squash uh, without cooking it in together. I would recommend that whatever protein you use, be it lobster or chicken, whatever, that you incorporate together and heat it up together in the pot for it to be the best. But this time around, you know, you do what you gotta do. And uh, we're just gonna cook this by itself. We're gonna let it bubble a little bit so that the sauce gets nice and thick. And then we're just gonna bring it out. And this will not take more than a minute. All right, that was probably 30 seconds. So we're just gonna add the quarter cup of cheese, mozzarella cheese. This is it. I am going to plate this and I'm gonna put the chicken on my husband's side, my lobster on mine, and we are all set. Okay guys, and let's give this a try. I'm gonna cut a perfect bite of lobster with some of the spaghetti squash. out of the stock so the stock says it's really warm. Okay. Mm. This is really good. This is really good guys, okay. So some things for you guys to know. First of all, I completely overcooked the spaghetti squash. I had to, I didn't remember that it, it, that it was very ripe. So with the spaghetti squash being very ripe and me cooking it for uh, the normal amount of time, but because it was ripe, it just cooked much faster and it's all a little soft. It doesn't have the, the, the consistency that I would like it to be. Having said that, because it was overripe and because it cooked so softly, because it was overripe, um, the spaghetti squash is a little bit more sweet. So with the lobster, the sweetness of the spaghetti squash, the butter, the cream, and the sweetness of the lobster itself just makes for a delicious blend of flavors. So regardless of it having overcooked, it still tastes amazing and it's so yummy. I mean, it's so yummy. Um, 
So I love it. So, you know, that's for you guys to decide. Do you want to have a slightly sweeter uh, spaghetti squash or would you like to have it a slightly firmer, more spaghetti-like spaghetti squash? That's up to you guys to decide. But with this, I'm gonna go have dinner. This has come out delicious. And I'll see you on my next video. And remember to like and subscribe, okay? Bye-bye.